Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the first, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. Oh, one card didn't come up. Six of Cups. Six of Cups is memories. Memories of the past. Reminiscing. Reminiscing. Could be some sort of reunion here. Parent and child. Hierophant. Star reversed in the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands is a conflict or a competition. The star reversed is why is this happening? Why now? Why now? There's a higher power involved. This is this is a direct connect connection to God. There is there's I don't know if there's something to do with a commitment. It could have something to do with a marriage or a funeral or a church. There's a higher power here. This is a card of faith and trust. And listen. Why is this happening? This isn't what I asked for. There's some sort of conflict here. Tension. This is tension. Could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with an Aquarius. Reminiscing memories, memories. Nostalgia. This is a test of faith with the star card reversed. Lack of spirituality. This is a direct connection to God. There's a higher power in he involved. This is conflict. Chaos. King of Swords. There's there's some challenging information that is coming. This may not be what you want to hear. Seriously. Could be coming from a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this is the commit. I don't know. May have something to do with a person that is in a position of authority. Both of these cards. Okay, there's, we may have something to do with a father. Um... King of Swords. Now this is information. It is very, uh, I feel like it's difficult information with that star card reversed. This is a conflict of interest. Anyhow, but it's a, con a conflicting message is coming from an individual that has some information that is very factual okay this is very factual information i think there's going to be a conversation somebody's going to be having a conversation that is going to test their faith they may be in disbelief over this information that is coming it's going to cause some sort of struggle because the five of wands is a struggle it's a power struggle of some sort or it's tension it's a it's a conversation it's a tense conversation. It does have to do with the past. It may have to do with mother or father and child or something like that. A parent and child it may have to do with a relationship or a marriage of the past or a commitment of the past, a previous commitment. But the sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. It's taking that next step. 
So somebody is going to be headed towards, they're being guided. This is divinely guided towards uh, balance and harmony. It is emotional balance and harmony in this case. There could be a reunion of some sort, like I said, with the Six of Cups. Somebody may be reuniting with somebody from their past. And, it, and it, you know, and, and it, however that resonates with you. But the King of Swords is a very, I feel like it's a challenging conversation that is coming. There is this, it may, I don't know if it's a father or somebody that is in a position of authority that is giving the information. Or it's about a person in a position of authority. Queen of Swords reversed. Oh my goodness gracious. This is harsh. It is harsh. It is. So it's, it is. Like this is some sort of, um, I feel like it's not good news. Okay. The Queen of Swords in reversed is, um, unsympathetic, right? It's sharp tongued. It is unforgiving. It is unforgiving news this is this cuts it really cuts this is somebody that is uh, vengeful perhaps what is this queen of swords reverse I'm not sure if this has to this queen of swords can be like a wicked stepmother or you know, uh, somebody that you work for that is nasty. Um, or just this is somebody that is very um, cold. Cold. I don't know. Cold hearted. Huh. There is, I feel like we have somebody here that is doing something vicious. But I feel like there's a higher power that is watching. I do. I feel like there's a higher power that is watching, which is interesting. I mean, this Queen of Swords in reversed is, is, I feel like there's some bad news coming about somebody from the past or somebody that you have a lot of memories with. Troublemaker. We have a troublemaker here that is doing something. Could even just be gossip. Jealousy. We have some jealousy here. Magician reverse. I, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is doing something that is against the law. You know, this is this is uh, an abuse of power. This is a trickster. Somebody that may even have a personality disorder that is a liar. This is a thief. This is somebody that is a manipulator that is breaking the law. This person does not care who they hurt. doing something without thinking. There could be some repercussions that are coming. There could be with the King of Swords. That is somebody that is in a position of authority. This is somebody that is making a decision based on what they see, based on the facts. It's interesting because somebody is stealing my videos. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And they think they're getting away with it, but they're not. They're not, their whole channel is about to be shut down. Like the five others that have tried before. Interesting that I said five others that have tried before. Anyhow, um, why is this happening? Somebody has done something that is not in, a, in integrity. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that doesn't do something in integrity. This is an abuse of power. This is somebody that 
takes action without thinking that is not really qualified, that is a master manipulator. So we do have a master manipulator here that is being seen, okay, because we have a pow higher power here. This is God, okay? This is, there's also somebody here that has a direct connection to God that may have prayed to God for balance and harmony and something like that. And this is whoever this person is that has abused their power is going to be not getting what they thought they were going to get. I mean, the, the star card reversed is ashamed. It's ashamed. Why is this happening? There is a decision that is being made that is based on the tr facts, that is based on the truth. There's some sort of master manipulation here. Absolutely. Goodness gracious. Magician reverse. That is a thief of some sort or a master manipulator doing something that they should not be doing. Somebody is doing something that they should not be doing. Seriously. But there's a higher power that is seeing it all. Absolutely. This is a test of faith that all is going to turn out as it should because the King of Swords is about justice. There could be some upcoming legal matters. And you need to have faith that everything is going to turn out as it should. There's going to be some sort of tension that is coming. There's tension here. I feel like there's going to be tense, there's going to be tense moments or tense, a tense interaction between some people. There's a master manipulator here that may not believe in God, may not have any faith that, you know, this, and I feel like that's going to cause some tension or it's going to cause some sort of disagreement or argument or chaos or tension or whatever. I feel like somebody is going to be put in a position with an individual that does not have any morals. Mm. But I would say not to worry because all is going to turn out as it should with that king of swords. This person knows the truth, sees the truth, and reacts to the truth. Hanged man. There's punishment that is coming. Somebody may be trying to punish another person. Anyway, the hanged man is punishment of some sort. This is a, something you're probably going to have to let go of something. You, this is a struggle. The struggle is real. A new perspective is needed. Somebody is going to be thinking about, they're going to be seeing something very, very clearly about an individual that has abused, that broken the law or abused their power. It's going to be seen very clearly. This is clarity. There's some sort of clarity that is coming. There's enlightenment that is coming. And I feel like there's some, honestly, I feel like there's some sort of, uh, Hopefully it's not punishment, but you know, when you get the King of Swords next to the Haman, I wonder if there's somebody that is causing conflict that is doing something that they shouldn't be doing and there's some sort of punishment that is coming. Um, hangman is a struggle and this is a struggle as well. So we have a struggle here. Somebody is going to be struggling with a very tense situation that is going to happen. Okay, if you aren't struggling with it yet, be prepared. Be prepared because I feel like there is... We have a struggle here, and it could be it could be with somebody that is very skilled at lying. We have a skilled, no offense to you guys, a skilled liar here. Seriously, we have a skilled liar that um, I 
is selfish. This is somebody that is very, very selfish that may be causing chaos or conflict or doing something that is against the, against the law. And I feel like your faith is going to be tested. Pray, pray, pray about it. Have faith because this is this is faith is needed and this one is too. This is a test of faith that everything will be seen very very clearly. I also I also feel like um, there's a, there's gonna be obviously there's gonna be some tension. There's gonna be tension on this day. Absolutely, we have somebody that is acting in their ego. Okay, they're, they have the devil here. They're acting out of ego. And their ego is getting in the way of them doing the right thing. And I do feel like there's punishment coming. And all you have to do is wait. There is punishment that is coming. Um, this is my second daily. The first one I decided not to share. Um, but this is toxic, unhealthy behavior. Somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing, right? This is somebody that... Uh, is very manipulative in their dark energy it's a very dark 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 energy you know it is so I would say uh, to be prepared to have some sort of tension or conflict with an individual that is abusing their power. This person is a trickster. They lie, they manipulate, they do not believe, they're not very spiritual. Um, they are in their devil energy. It's interesting because this is now the last card. This right here, this is God, this is the devil. So there's, there's, there's you know, uh, a fight. Okay, there's a fight between, you know, heaven or hell, obviously, you know. So I do believe that uh, there is something happening that may put you in a state of disbelief. But it all happens for a reason. Everything is turning out as it should. As it should. Somebody has abused their power. And I feel like... Um, They're about to get a wake-up call of some sort because I feel like the King of Swords is going to give a wake-up call. I think there is a wake-up call that is coming. This is toxic, unhealthy behavior. We have somebody here that is, is uh, very materialistic. They are driven by greed. We have a very greedy individual here that is about to receive some sort of, I don't know, it feels like it's punishment for their behavior. They are being observed. They are being watched by a person in a position of authority and it could be God. And that's why something is happening. There could be chaos in their lives. They may experience some extreme tension or a battle or a fight or chaos. Or they could lose something. Okay, they could lose something. With that star card reversed, why is this happening? There's no help coming. The Six of Cups is about innocence. Somebody has abused their power, and I feel like they have abused somebody that is innocent. And the star card reverse, it's guilty. So I feel like we have somebody here that is guilty of, I don't know if it's theft or abusing their power, and I feel like this person is about to uh, be punished. Good luck. 